Have you ever wondered what blue light is and how it affects you? Well, let's dive right into it. Blue light is a type of light with a short wavelength, which means it produces a higher amount of energy. It's part of the visible light spectrum, which our eyes are exposed to every day. Now, where does it come from? Well, the most significant source of blue light is none other than our very own sun. It's what makes the sky look blue, but it's not the only source. In our technologically advanced world, artificial sources of blue light have become increasingly prevalent. These include LED lights, fluorescent lights, flat screen LED televisions, computer monitors, smartphones, and tablet screens. While it's impossible to completely avoid blue light, given its prevalence, understanding its sources helps us make informed decisions about our exposure. Now that we know where blue light comes from, let's explore how it impacts our eyes. Eyes are the windows to the world, but they're not quite ready for the blue light invasion. The blue light we're talking about primarily comes from the electronic devices we're so attached to. This high-energy, short-wavelength light is everywhere, from the midday sun to our smartphone screens. And it's this ubiquity that's causing some concern. So how does blue light affect our eyes? Well, let's start with the basics. When you're staring at your computer or phone for long periods, you might start to notice your eyes feeling a bit tired or dry. This is known as digital eye strain, and blue light plays a significant role in causing it. The high energy and short wavelength of blue light make it flicker more and create a glare that can reduce visual contrast, affecting clarity and sharpness. This can cause the eyes to work harder, leading to fatigue and dryness. But the potential harm doesn't stop at surface-level discomfort. There's a darker side to this story. Prolonged exposure to blue light has been linked to potential damage to the retina, the inner lining at the back of the eye. The retina is responsible for receiving light and sending images to your brain, and damage to this area can lead to serious issues like age-related macular degeneration. While our eyes bear the brunt, the effects of blue light don't stop there. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into the impacts of blue light on our sleep patterns and overall health. Ever found it difficult to sleep after binge-watching your favorite show late at night? Blue light may be the culprit. You see, when we expose our eyes to the blue light from our screens, it sends a signal to our brain that it's still daytime. This can disrupt the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates our sleep. Imagine this. Melatonin is like a night watchman, telling your body when it's time to rest. But when blue light enters the picture, it's as if someone turned on all the lights confusing the watchman. This leads to insomnia and poor sleep quality. Now, consider a night of tossing and turning, followed by a day of feeling groggy and unproductive. Multiply that by every night you spend scrolling through your phone or watching TV, and you can see how blue light is not just stealing your sleep, but potentially disrupting your life. Blue light does more than keep you awake. It could pose long-term health risks. Let's talk about the potential long-term health effects of blue light exposure. Blue light isn't all bad. It helps regulate our body's internal clock and boost alertness. However, when we overexpose ourselves, particularly through the screens of our electronic devices, we may face some serious health concerns. Emerging research suggests a link between prolonged exposure to blue light and an array of health conditions. For instance, our bodies associate blue light with daytime, so excessive exposure can trick our bodies into thinking it's always daytime, leading to disruptions in our circadian rhythm. This disruption can potentially lead to obesity by altering our eating patterns and reducing the quality of our sleep. Moreover, there's evidence that prolonged exposure to blue light may increase the risk of heart disease. It seems that the disturbance in our circadian rhythm can lead to an increase in blood pressure and levels of the stress hormone cortisol. Perhaps the most alarming of these potential health risks is cancer. The World Health Organization has recognized shift work that involves circadian rhythm disruption as a probable human carcinogen. And since blue light exposure, particularly at night, can disrupt our circadian rhythms, it's a concern that needs further research. The risks are real, but don't worry, there are ways to reduce your exposure to blue light. Reducing blue light exposure isn't about shunning technology, it's about smarter use. So how do we do that? Well, let's start with a simple solution. Blue light filters. These are available for most devices and can significantly decrease the amount of blue light emitted by your screens. Some devices even have built-in settings to reduce blue light, often called night mode or comfort view. Make sure to turn these on. Next, let's talk about breaks. Remember the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. 
This can help to reduce eye strain and give your eyes a much needed break from the constant bombardment of blue light. Now, let's consider screen time before bed. The light from our devices can trick our brains into thinking it's still daytime, disrupting our sleep patterns. Try to stop using screens at least an hour before bedtime. Instead, you could read a book, listen to some soothing music, or practice a relaxation technique. And finally, remember that reducing blue light isn't just about your screens. Energy-efficient light bulbs also emit blue light, so consider using dim red lights for night lights. Red light has the least power to shift circadian rhythm and suppress melatonin. Remember, small changes can make a big difference in protecting your health. And with these tips, you're well on your way to reducing your blue light exposure. We've covered a lot today about blue light and its effects. From the screens of our beloved devices, this light can strain our eyes, disrupt our sleep, and even pose long-term health risks. But don't despair, we've also highlighted some simple ways to reduce exposure. Blue light filters or cutting down screen time before bed can make a world of difference. Remember, it's not just about seeing clearly, it's about living healthily. It's never too late to start taking steps to protect your eyes and sleep from blue light. Make the change today.